Okay, this week there has been something very disturbing in the news. It has been stories about a lady called Heather Mills. I had never heard about this lady before, but when I heard that paparazzi were disturbing her and pursuing her, I took interest in the story and I've come to see that even from this story, even when I watch uh, the Jonathan Ross show on Friday, 2nd of uh, November, he even used her to make jokes, you see. And I like Jonathan Ross, he's a very funny person. I don't know why he used her to make jokes and I don't want to enter the story. I'm not part of it. It's not my business. But um, I just want to talk maybe more about Heather, Heather Mills, because when I've been telling people about all these things that has been happening to me with paparazzi harassing me, with paparazzi disturbing my life. They have been laughing at my unfortunacies. They have been laughing and using me to make jokes. But now they can see on the same television and national television that somebody else is going through the same thing. Now they know that Sunday is not telling stories. Yes, you see, and the same reason, the same thing they use it for is for the disintegration of her credibility. That is the only reason they are doing what they are doing. So today, I have a message I want to, to read to, to Heather Mills. It is that, <clears throat> let me find it, it is that um, I have signed your petition on www.uk.com and you will see my name is there, Sunday Franklin. I signed it today, the 4th of November 2007, around midday. Um, I heard that these wicked people are also calling you a gold digger. But I know that you have been doing good charity work for the past 20 years. And so, I also want to give you advice on this 15 million pounds that Sir Paul McCartney wants to give you for this divorce. Um, maybe if you go to GMTV and make announcement that you want to give half of this money to chari charitable work, to charity, and then maybe people will see that you are not following this thing because of money, that you are following the principle, you see. But um, for me, anyway, it's not my business to be telling you how to use your money. It's your own money. But um, you see, for me, <coughs> nobody gave me any money. And paparazzi are still disturbing me. Even at, I don't have to be giving 50 million. If maybe one, even one or two million, I'll be happy. It will lessen all this burden that these paparazzi are giving me. And another thing I want to say is that maybe somebody even close to you could be working with these paparazzi because I have a neighbor here, two two floors above Stevo. This neighbor, we used to be very close. We used to, I used to go to his flat. We used to drink this Foster's beer together, make jokes till late at night, early in the morning. And this Stevo, he is telling me he's a plumber. But now I know he's not a plumber. He's working with this paparazzi. That is what he's doing. You see, so maybe somebody close can be doing this type of thing. Another thing, just to say is. I am supporting you. That is the reason why I've sent this message. I am supporting you. I don't see why there is so much wickedness around today when all we need is love. Um, so that is my message. Thank you very much for listening.